seriously doubt it. No power in here. But the emergency light was on before. I swear it was on before. Oh, it's so spooky. Yes, I'm spooked. Wow, it's so big. Princess Maggie, not dead. Are you pretty princess? Hmm? Is that for you? Mm -hmm. I need it. I also just want to see if it could still fly. It's too cold to put it outside. And raining. We'll see. Not for you. She's so precious. Aren't she so beautiful? She doesn't move around very much. And uh, yeah, I don't know if she can actually fly or not. Because her wings looked pretty messed up. And to be honest, um, these butterflies, this is a painted lady by the way, they don't, um, they don't live for very long. They're only, they only have a two week lifespan. And I have no idea how long she's been a butterfly for, so. She's very pretty. And, uh, and, uh, yeah. These cute little white thingies on the end of her antenna is very sweet. She's looking. She doesn't do anything. I haven't seen her um, flutter since I put her in here or uh, walk around much. She mostly just stuck by this piece of orange I have here, which I'm going to remove. And these are only flowers that I could find outside. I can't really release her because. Uh, it's like four degrees or colder outside right now and uh, yeah I don't even know where she came from she was wedged inside of a romaine lettuce just like all the other bugs I've found and I don't know how long she was in there or where that lettuce was growing if she's laid any eggs yet I have no idea I have no idea and I'm also I'm I'm honestly kind of like really surprised she's even alive right now. Like really, really surprised. There she is. Look how beautiful you are. You're so beautiful. My goodness. Look how lovely. Look how lovely you are. You're so beautiful. My goodness, you're handsome. Where are you going, baby? <gasps> you're climbing. Oh my goodness! Where are you gonna go? Where are you gonna go, baby? Ooh, 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 ooh! What's in this box? It's going away. It's going away. In this reusable box.
parcel in the mail. What the heck do you think this is? <laughs> it's clearly two skinny boxes just taped together. I'm very intrigued. I wonder if it's like chocolate. So I took this old art snacks box that I held on to because it's such a cool box. And I refilled it with stuff. What kind of stuff? Oh, a few things like, um, let's see, clues. A couple of different kinds of paint. Things like maybe something like this. Or, um, some kind of fancy pencil. A craft thing, maybe. What's in the box? What's in the box? I'm sending it to a friend. I am going to try to challenge her to make something or some things cool with this stuff. I can't tell you because she watches my videos. Although, uh, I'm sure she would have opened this by the time this video comes out. So now I'm just being mean. I'm just being mean to you. Wouldn't that be fun though? Having this kind of business where you just sell boxes of mystery art supplies that's really cool that would be pretty fun I would go broke because I imagine these companies get um, free stuff from uh, companies and at least a wholesale price for stuff so that wouldn't really work if a regular person you buy mystery boxes on eBay or something um, you're not gonna get your money's worth because <laughs> they have to pay full price for everything so so uh, but we can we can we can live the dream at Christmas time. Let's do this. Oh, I'm so excited. So I think this might actually be it for, uh, for Gary already. Um, uh, she spent the night sort of on the ceiling and then she came, I saw, I came in and she was sitting on an orange. So I thought, oh yay, she's eating the orange, but she was sitting kind of funny like this. And so when I, uh, replaced the orange she was sitting on with a bigger, fresher orange. Moving her, it seems like she's dying. Like, um, she's not really responding to anything. She's not really moving much. When I took the orange from her, she held on a little bit, but that was it. Um, so I think that she has reached the end of her lifespan. And this is probably her last position. Honestly, if I come back here later, she'll probably be gone. She might be gone now. It's really hard to tell because I think her body is just like in this position, which is very, very interesting and lifelike position. Very lifelike. And so I will leave her with this interesting tidbit. Uh, painted ladies for example, appear to only have four legs. And this puzzled me, and so I went looking online for information on why on earth a butterfly has four legs. And it turns out that her other two legs um, are fuzzy and wrap around her neck like a scarf. Like I said, they only have a two-week lifespan, and I have no idea how old she was when we found her, so... Thank you for visiting me, Gary. You're so pretty. Oh my! Oh my! Oh! You wanna go in that? You wanna go up there? You seeing this cat? See, this is why I didn't release the butterfly. Yeah. What do you think of that, Mom? I hope the other caterpillar is doing okay over there. Yeah. Oh boy. It's slowing down quite a bit. It looks so slushy. It looks so wet. I have a couple more parcels to send out. 
<clears throat> and I have to finish making videos. I haven't done, it's like Tuesday and I've been spending like two days on one dinky video and it's just taking me so long because I keep having to do laundry, I keep having to go out and get um, mail and send mail and ugh. I need some kind of Christmas vacation. <coughs> yeah, I trudged through all that slush and crap and both of my parcels had the wrong address. <laughs> There are addresses I've used like many years in a row and never had a problem but this year like the postal code on both of them are wrong and my aunt's address doesn't exist so um they took my friends which is good um this one uh, I can try to put the P.O. box address on it that I have because they're just cookies and I don't think that they will miss it if I don't send them cookies. <laughs> I don't want to go outside again. Like I said, I spent three days on this already. I just can't deal with this. Everyone's on holiday and I'm just exhausted and gay. There's no rest for retail burgers, that's for sure. <clears throat> oh, this is what happens when you try and you force yourself to draw when you're really tired and don't want to. <laughs> Actually, I think this paper is just terrible. I don't know what kind of paper this was, but Ugh, it does not watercolor, that's for sure.